keep an eye out for that one. But we've got to roll on the next match because this these games only get better and better. Oh. And we have... Oh, my, you weren't joking. The Young Prodigy from the UK, recently sponsored by the same team as Problem X Team Mouse. You will see the UK represented in the fullest tier going up against the Bull. Bandits, Mena RD. And this is the Mena interesting RD, one, because I spoke about this a few people before. Will Mena pick the Luke here? Because if he does go Blanka, well, he's got an abundance of Blanka experience ending Walker with Problem X, especially with that outstanding performance at the LCQ. Yeah, right. We just saw Problem X take the entire LCQ on the Blanka only. That's the only character I recall him playing at that tournament. So you know ending Walker is well versed in this matchup. Of course, that could always bite the opponent in the back, right? Because the, the opponent they're facing now might play different significantly from their sparring partner. But Indig Walker doesn't strike me as a player that would get shook by that. He knows the capabilities of the character and the capabilities of the player, and he's kind of able to judge those things properly. Now, I might need to get this fact checked. Oh, this was top eight winners, last cat con cut. This well, was the first could. match, yeah. Ed versus Birdie, I believe. This yeah, was, yeah. and obviously this is what led to Ending Walker ending up fourth. Yes. And obviously putting Mena in prime position to be even closer <laughs> to that cat con cut. Mena are these are lightning in a bottle, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. It's oh. just something that not anyone's going to do. No. He might be the only one to ever do it. I mean, only two-time Capcom Cup champion, and he just has that champion mindset, man. I saw him at the LCQ. He was coming to sit down and talk to Rob during an interview, and I was like, hey, man, sorry about the Group F. And he told me, sorry, you're only adding to my legacy. Ah! And then during the interview, he was like, you know, I felt, I felt a little bad. Oh, it's looking like the loop. But yeah, during the interview, he was like, you know, I felt a little bad for a day, but then I planned some vacations for my boys, Kaba and Angry Bird, that I'm going to pay with with my winnings, and it's all good now. So that type of Jose mindset, Ballard. man, woo! Okay. That's what I admire. So he's oh. he's, he's literally oh, get it. removing Blanka yeah. from the equation yeah. because he knows Problem X is the mentor, the training partner. Let's and go. we're going to go to traditional poster boy versus the old man. Let's do it. That's what I'm talking about. Old protagonist versus new protagonist. Let's get it. Well, now, the ending Walker is sensational with his sweeps with Ryu. He showed me that. You've got to look at sweeps in this game. And that was a lovely counter hit conversion off the stand, medium kick there, goes low, splurges the drive gauge into the shore, you can there. And that's the thing, right? People are going to feel real uncomfortable fighting the Ryu. He might be old, one of the oldest fighting game characters in existence, but not a lot of people play him at the level Ending Walker does in six. I mean, the youngins gravitate toward this character. And yeah, shot like Paladin too. Bees to honey, I'll tell you that much. Can't explain it. Really punish down the low forward, but good check with the crouching medium punch there as well. And these two do have a very similar philosophy and a very similar damage output as well. Oh yeah, no joke. No whip punish there with the CB either. Did you see that though? Meta baiting him into the solar plex is easy. Whip punish as it whips. Goes for oh yeah, again. spine Might busters. Close out with the third one. Oh, powerhouse hop style. Spine busters for everybody. Yeah, there's no point in ending Walker doing an OD reversal there. It was going to get him in a nice situation, but it was too dangerous. We move on to the next round, psychologically anyway. And using the OD after he sees the parry come out, right? Starting to disrupt Mena's rhythm. Ooh, with the back dash, and he's able to punish the time as well. Mena, no side switch. Misses the perfect flash knuckle with the light version there. And again, he's utilizing that stand medium kick and being such good at badgering with it. Gets the back throw there. You know, he wants that screen advantage, right? Very close to pushing any water towards the corner now. Could even go with a sequence where he DIs and he ends up in the corner without it being on the screen right now. I love the patience and respect these two are showing each other. I mean, nice that he didn't confirm that. Definitely respect each other's capabilities as players. Well, I'm going to see some disrespect very soon. Drive reversal to keep him in pole position here. Denji, both players are. He needs to stand fierce or something to hit Ending Walker. They're scratching tooth and nail for the drive gauge advantage as well. Ending Walker with the perfect parry. Still playing it patient. Ran away to regain some space. Go back to the middle ground here. And Mena is forcing something because he wants to take this round range. And he's at the dome. Only a slight wood punish though because it was stand medium kick. He's using this. Ah, oh, that's what I was talking about. Ending Walker with the spacing. Perfect stuff right there with a whip punish. He's got to spin the meter, but it is more than worth to force a round three. I was just watching that go back and forth, the respect they were showing each other on the ground. And I said, Ending Walker just needs that stand fierce to hit and get some big damage there. And he had the drive gauge to get the two double. I rush cancel there. But I like how many using stand medium kick just to assess the scenario before he makes any big commitments. And he's not, he's not wasting drive gauge either. Absolutely. The way Indy Walker just plays on the ground, man, the minute movements he makes. Oh! 
Anyway, Menar D with a drive rush overhead instead, comboing off of it, taking a significant lead here in round three. And Luke is so good at playing from an advantage. Of course, drive gauge and health gauge as well. Audacious throw tech there from Ending Walker. Misses his high blade kick. Still peppering away with that stand medium kick. And there's one of those perfect parry to sweeps we were talking about before. And he's trying to fake the fireball now with Hashigeki. Oh, what in his turn after the donkey kick block. Still no jumps yet. It looks like these guys, that they're going to act as their jumps as perfect power of the fireball and then something else. That's yes, looking like it again. This time the stand fierce is there. Double drive rush cancel. Bills to the level one. Oh, wait a second. He Donkey tumbled. He tumbled. Yeah, he tumbled. Is that a frame kill or he thought he was going to stand up in time? I don't know. It looked like some scrambles. Then RD going to eat that up. Men are taking the first game here the Dominican Republic. The boys are doing well right now in the group matches. Only day one here, though. I believe they connected a lot of ladder active friends. And that was later that it takes the Steve text message. <laughs> well, that's if he answers his phone. That's what I'm saying. Walks away again. I'm seeing a lot of buttons whiff here from Mena, but ending Walker's focus. He's fixated on something else here. It must be the fireballs. Looking like a right. Oh, another beautiful bait out right there from Ending Walker. That's facing traps. Kind of coding him into pressing a button there, but that donkey kick was too close. Clean sure you can. I think that's the first jump we've seen. Yeah. Backs away again, just to help get some drive gauge back as well. I'm seeing it recover. Such an interesting, interesting rhythm he backs up at as well. It feels like it's a backing up a bit Dude, further than that? most. Did I catch the fireball? Was that Hashigeki? Yeah, it was Hashigeki. Okay. It was Hashigeki, yeah. Sorry, and now. If Mena gets a fierce or something, he's won the round, then he might not even need to spend any Super Bowl to do it. There it is. Ooh. Oh! Oh, but he dropped it. Yeah, he was already committed to the two-piece. It gives any Walker another chance at life here. Oh, oh that would have been it. But Mena was already committed to the parry, and the Sandblast shuts the round one door. Set point, Mena RD. Despite having, Ryu having a lot of options, a plethora of options to fight Luke, ending Walker's being too earnest here. He needs to ramp it up a little bit. There's a throw. Going to the side switch immediately. Uh, he putting the flash knuckle on him without three bars. That could have been DI. True. Ah, uh, he's trying now. Okay, he's, he's trying to be a bit more risky with his whip punishes there. Needs to force something to happen here. Gets the three pieces to the sure you can. Oh, immediately stuffs him. It looked like the overhead attempt. Is he going to level three? No, he keeps missing his flash knuckle conversions here. They're either not perfect or they whiff. Yeah, a little surprising for sure. There you go. Gets a sweep. Here he comes. Walker, he's got it. Yeah, I was going to say, start the offense up. Drive versus the stand, medium punch, catches Mena, wake it up with something. Ending Walker staying alive. I mean, when it comes to conversions, Ending Walker, ending Walker and Ryu is doing the exact same thing. Oh, yeah. oh my! The much. buffer from Ending Walker, that fierce again, meeting him in the middle. And look at the life get deleted on Luke. Dude, that was literally like 49%. Oh. Your health bar got backspaced. Mm -hmm. Took majority share of your health bar, bro. 51. Uh, that, if he delayed the button or blocked, that wouldn't have worked. Yeah. Right, here we go. Pale Rider's gonna do its work. And it's actually gonna leave him in a dangerous spot here when yeah. it comes to the drive gauge. Microwalk Stampede can do it, unless Ending Walker has other ideas. He blocks. He doesn't deal with the medium, and I tried to throw. Maybe he thought Ending Walker would parry to save the drive meter. And he knows he's hunting the drive gauge, and that lovely conversion once again into the Tatsu here. He's only gonna be playing with one bar. Super risky here, but if he gets a whiff punish. Put one one apiece. Di and he oh, got him. Yes. Yeah, you can't touch okay. this young man's reactions, bro. Unfortunately, if that was Ken, that would have worked. Yeah. Ryu is a little bit harder. You literally have to get the Di at the exact same frame that the Hadouken starts up with Ryu. I respect the attempt. Close, but no cigar. Indeed, great reactions from Indian Walker right there. The recovery on the fireball, letting him react with his own DI in time. Oh, and he oh. tries to walk up and stand medium kick, but a quick whip punish. Listen, ending Walker's processing speed is through the roof. Bit slow today, oh. but he's picked up on it and he's analyzed what he needs to. Misses the flash knuckle combo once again. Yeah, for, oh, ending Walker, a big chance in this round here. Oh, but another bait into the button. Only the whip punish, but winning Walker waking up. I played kick there as the spacing trap. Got the dungeon charge as well, so this is going to be huge. And just harassing with it now as well. Ending Walker is so good at using that. Yeah, no bait there because these guys really want to maximize their Oki scenarios. The thing that was an OD fireball, Menard did perfect parry it, but he only perfect parry the first uh, hit. Catches him walking into him. You got to close this out. Again, that safe combo drop, but Ending Walker shooting for the stars comes up empty. And that was out of frustration that he walked into a crash medium punch earlier. That's why he done that. If he was super patient, maybe the stars would have aligned it, unfortunately. 
and the RD is on match point here. Perfect parry is a sand blast, and then he gets counted with a perfect parry to the sweep. The momentum is starting to feel like men are RDs right now. Oh, 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 and he whipped the sweep just to put the money button out and cash out. No safe jump. That was fraudulent. Oh, look at that. Oh, the perfect parry. Wax on, wax off. Okay, interesting Very conversion interesting. there. Pretty sure he's practiced that one as well. Needs to be careful with his fireballs up close. There's one grab. Men is low on dry gauge, but he might risk it for the level three. Exactly. You can't get too thirsty about going in right now, because as you mentioned, he does have three bars. Got him. Oh. Burn him out. Yeah, but he's got to keep it nice and short. I love the fact that he kept that short, because this should put him in burnout. Let's see, let's see. Yes, indeed. Perfectly. Careful now. Yeah, he knows. He's pumping with level one, level three. Mm, yeah, they're you both, see they're, it. They're both quarter circle forwards. Exactly. So. It just Got him. matters what punch or kick he presses. That's plus. Take him down. Oh, he caught him low. He took a oh, risk but he there. The combo. That was a huge risk in terms of spending drive oh, gauge. But that donkey kick harassment, no one in the business does it better than Indy Walker. Final game, final round there. But the super mere advantage is with men at RD. So he wants an early 40%, he can get it. It's already striking first blood. Whoever establishes the lead, it's so important. He could have punished that jump with the level one, probably. Good that he's preserved the bar already. Still no perfect carries on the sand blaster, so he's gonna try something else. Finally, we see one. They didn't follow it up. No OS drive rush, but there's one. Straight up DP on the driver's there cancel, you go. and another whip punish! He's found the range, but he's in the ambo range. He is indeed. He's gotta be careful with how he spins his drive rush from here. Yeah, he's gonna back up and wait a couple of seconds, wait for it to replenish, just like Mena RD is. Oh yeah, in. I was gonna say, baits him into a button. Mena with a big whip punish off that, but again, this combo is just not working. Needs to try a safer conversion. Overhead oh, is there! And then Walker, he didn't go for another drive rush cancel, could have built to level two. The eye, oh, but he, he perfect him. parries and then punishes with his own DI to burn him out. And that was the Maximum punish attacking that drive gauge. Oh my goodness, he has CA on deck as well. No whip punish on that crunch medium kick. It's CA as well. If he hits yeah. a face, he's done. He definitely is. Oh, but he's got no drive rush to cancel into. He just had to settle for the two piece. Safe there. Oh, he got level him. three in response. He got it. He's still alive. Yeah, he's gonna put him on life support, but he's, he's still, still gonna be stuck in burnout. Oh dear, what are you gonna do? Overhead or just oh leave my. it? He goes in, he's no. blocked. He's blocked. Oh, he DP'd at Stan! Meta RT pushes out the set! That was a riveting back and forth. High and lows, proficiency in combo drops, and it ended up with a very last crazy interaction there. And because he has so much frame advantage on that knockdown, yeah. I understand doing the Shin Hashigeki, yeah. but he wasn't going to do anything. And he saw it, he was even that confident to even just wake up or yeah. do an OD reversal in his face. Great stuff from Mena RD right there. Boy, that kid makes him sweat every time. But like we said, composure, mindset of a champion. You cannot shake the two-time cup winner. There you have it. A little bit of a blip there, but a sensational performance nevertheless. He had a very good start. Dude, Assessing every situation with stand medium kick, and then we work around that button, making sure we stay firmly feet plied on the ground there. I think that was exquisite fundamental performance. I mean, I completely agree with you. All I want to say is Indy Walker is the man. You 100%. Me? He is the goddamn man. Now, Men RD, of course, is that guy. He's different. Two-time Capcom Cup champion, Evo Grand finalist. We know he's one of the best in the world. But, man, Indy Walker is right there with them. They went tooth and nail in this set. Incredible ground game from both sides. It was fascinating just watching these two manipulate each other on the ground. But Meno, the clutch gene, he's got it. Yeah, I think like just the variety of buttons, how they're trying to mix things up with the perfect parries of the fireballs as well, implementing sweeps later down the line. These guys were really working at it. I didn't really see much Vulcan Blast to punish fireballs, but that's yep. how fixated they were on just dealing with it. And we saw the reactionary DI again, close but no cigar, respect the attempt. We saw the, what the intent actually was there. And then a couple of near the end, yeah, there was a couple of frustrating decisions mm -hmm. and more of miscalculations there from ending Walker. And that probably could have been a completely different set. And but probably what gave him a huge lifeline was the fact that Mena was dropping several Absolutely. attempts at the light flash knuckle yeah. mid combo. Yeah, exactly right. We just saw that same flash knuckle combo not work out time and time again. Definitely gave ending Walker more life to work with, more opportunities to just play the game. 
But man, Meta was so good besides that. One combo that was real finicky in this set, just completely shutting down a lot of things. The level three reaction, just the way they were able to set up whiff buttons to make the opponent whiff, to set up their whiff punish, too good. And that, using level three right there, even though it wasn't gonna kill, the situation was probably the most conducive it can be, right? They're almost about to recover, so they're like, okay, I'm 